Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the day 13 of the service portal training. In this day sessions, we'll talk about that SPUtil. So this is another uh, Angular dependency using the SPUtil. What are the stuff we can do in the service portal? That things we'll discuss. Apart from that, we'll discuss that uh, how we can real time do the monitoring on our system. So those stuffs we'll discuss in our today's sessions. So if you uh, have not watched my previous session, I uh, request you to go and watch my previous sessions of this service portal. So this is the day 13 where we already discussed a lot of points in our previous video. So without wasting time, let's get started. So very first thing is that we'll talk about that SPUtil. So what is the SPUtil and how we can or why we can we should use the SPUtil. So SPUtil is first uh, first purpose of the using the SPUtil is to show the error message, to show the info message, to show the trivial message, this kind of message to use that we use the SPUtil. So let's understand the concept why we are going to use that SPUtil and then we do have the record watch using the record watch in the SPUtil function we can watch particular table and any a certain movement on the table we can get that and then we can show in our portal so very for that very first thing is that I'm going to create a new widget so let's say that I'm going to create a widget here so in this widget what I am going to do that I'm going to create a my approvals already service now out of box provided the my approval widget but I'm going to create my own approval strategy or own approval uh, button here so for that I'm going to create a um, call uh, my approval and then I'm going to create this widget name called my approvals I'm going to open this my approval uh, under this widget editor so very first thing is that I am going to use this under this server script uh, I'm going to query to that um, sys approval table so for that what I'll do I'll do the glide query on that so I'll do the new glide record For that what I'll do, I'll type the my approvals and open that and once we open that right now we can see that I don't have any approvals. So let's say that I'm going to uh, create here call this is the a table I'll copy that approvals table and let's say that for the time being I'm going to hard code it some other user so add encoded query and then here I'm going to uh, add call approver equal to um, let's say or maybe I need certain requested uh, so I'll show match with the requested So if you can see that I have not read, written much thing here. I just query to this is approval table with this particular approval name and whatever approval we do have, I'm just showing in the JSON format. So if you have not uh, know that how to do this stuff, I will request you to go to and check my previous video. So I am doing nothing here. I am just showing that I know this number and you can see this is the now all these requested changed or all, all these requested approvals is showing right now so what I am going to do that I am going to declare a div call like this div So this is the basic setup I have done right now. What I am doing, I'm just going to query this is approval table with the state of the request and particular approval name. So querying to the particular pipe record and then once we get that, I'm just showing that record with this approve and reject button. These two buttons I'm just showing right now. So that's for this our uh, first use case. Now we are going to discuss about the SPUtil. What is the purpose of the SPUtil and how we can use that SPUtil. So let's say that when you want to show this message, any message into this during this code loading, what do we do normally? We just write the gs dot add info message or add error message. Like say that uh, record found. We can uh, write that and based on that, 
the system will run that and then based on the server side script it will start showing this error um this info message in top of that so record found record found something like that similar kind of message we can show in our client script for that what we can do so in this client script we directly cannot use the gs message so that is the one limitation or you can say the gs object cannot be used in our client side code what we can do here uh, we can just uh, let's say that i'm going to call this function uh, from here so i will use the ng click here under this ng click what i am going to do that c dot approve maybe this is my function this function i am going to use here and whenever this function will be called i can show you that alert message so let's say that i'm going to use that alert message so for that what i'll do i'll say that hi so it means that whenever i click the approve it is showing that hi right something like that but instead of hi message i want to show that info message or error message or something like that how can we do that for that we have to inject that sputil uh, object here under this dependency and then once we use the sputil instead of this alert we can use the sputil dot add info message and here we can say that um, request approve something like that okay now if we uh, simply see that once we click the approve button it will show a message called request approve. So basically, um, you know, if you want to show any um, message, pop-up message, uh, like this kind of message, all info message or error message, you can use that SPUtil. So let's type for the reject one also. So for that reject one, what I'll do, I'll, I'll do the same thing. Under this client script, I am going to put this one and then I'm declaring the function. And now again, we are going to use that sputil method and then add error message. And here we are going to say that request rejected. Now you can see that once we click that um, approve, this message will show in the top and then it will not be uh, going to disappear it is staying uh, forever the user has to be clicked that here and then they has to be removed similarly if you if they click the reject the error message is showing but uh, with this uh, a warning message but this message is still staying without any um, you know uh, it is not getting uh, getting disappeared after a certain time for that what we can do we can use the trivial message so we do have the trivial message. So if you use this sputil.trivial message, uh, it will be disappeared after a certain time. So for that, what we have to do, we just have to go to this client script and add this one and say that request approve. So same thing. And save that. So benefit of the trivial message is the automatically it will be disappeared. So let's say that you click the approve. These things are just showing and after some time this message will be disappeared. You can see the message gone disappeared after a certain time. Even you can define the time, how much second after that it should be uh, uh, disappeared that also you can define that. So these, these all are SP util method like showing the uh, error message, showing the info message, showing the trivial message. If even if you want to show the some uh, kind of format message, you can show that. So that's the one thing. So that's it about all about the SP util uh, error message, info message, and trivial message. In our next sessions, we'll talk about the record watch. It is a little bit complex one. Uh, so we'll take some time and discuss further on the record watch. So till the time, if you have any question, let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a good day. <laughs>